I would like those of you who are interested in this to do a Google search on the Skanderberg division of the SS, Hitler's murderers, who conducted uh, wholesale campaigns of ethnic cleansing and genocide in Kosovo, killing uh, uh, Serbs in the Kosovo Metohija regions, who they massacred, burnt their homes. The survivors then were brutally driven out and expelled in a policy of ethnic cleansing and genocide. They killed uh, uh, Jews as well and gypsies. The Skanderberg Division played a role in the Holocaust and the genocide. In fact, the Nuremberg War Crimes Tribunal declared the SS criminal organization that we're talking about, and every individual member of SS was found to be a war criminal guilty of planning and carrying out crimes against humanity. And who were these Kosovars in the 21st Waffen Gebergs Division, the Skanderberg, who committed the war crimes and the genocide against the Orthodox Serbian population of Kosovo? Well, look it up if you're interested. Callers, Bill, Los Angeles, welcome. What's on your mind? Michael, I'm so thankful for you uh, bringing out this truth about Kosovo. Um, as for... As for um, Mike, the um, captive nation's representative, I'm sure we'll see him representing Aztica someday um, when they try to create an independent nation here in the American Southwest. Now, mm -hmm. as for Kosovo, in 1389, Michael, I'm sure you remember the Battle of Blackbird Field. The Serbs lost over 50,000 men in one day, and, and the Ottoman Turks took over that section of Europe for the next seven centuries. I, I went and did a lot of homework about this Serbia situation, and I've learned and I've gotten to know a bunch of Serbs in the last 10 years, and I think you and me both see this. I, I, I didn't even know what Kosovo But you know why the Serbs are being kicked around? They've been, they were kicked around in the World War One. They were kicked around in World War Two. They were kicked around now by European Union and the, and the uh, uh, folks in the Bush uh, administration. Why is it that the Serbs are being picked on? Answer, because they can't defend themselves. Because Bill Clinton used the U.S. military to destroy the Serbian military. They're now defenseless. So to, to I guess, to the Democrat and to the Republican alike, at the end of the day, it's all about power and might makes right. Actually, that's been the truth from the beginning of time. Michael, do you know that uh, Tito encouraged Albanian immigration into Kosovo because he wanted... I do know that. I also know that the population of Kosovo was not, uh, was not dominant Muslim until Hitler came along. Hitler exterminated the Orthodox Christians, drove them out, put them in concentration camps, drove out the Jews, drove out the gypsies, and Hitler drove in Nazis. He drove them in and they happily put on the Nazi uniform in World War II. I know that as well. Today, many of them are radical Islamists. There's a connection between fascism of the uh, Hitler kind and fascism of the Islamic kind. You know that and I know that. Genocide in Satellite Croatia, 1941-45, to by Edmund Paris. And I'm going to read you the first paragraph. The greatest genocide during World War II in proportion to a nation's population took place not in Nazi Germany, but in the Nazi-created puppet state of Croatia. There in the years 41 to 45, some 750,000 Serbs, 60,000 Jews, and 26,000 Gypsies, men, women, and children, perished in a gigantic holocaust. These are the figures used by most foreign authors, especially the Germans who were in the best position to know. Um, so, you know, you can read these things and say, what does it have to do with me? Of course, it has nothing to do with you, other than the fact that those who do not know their history are condemned to repeat it. Read on to the massacre page on page 80, where it says the Ustashi exterminated 80% of Yugoslav Jews. 80% of Yugoslav Jews. And what, what it amazes me is that Israel, during the uh, bombing of Serbia, backed the uh, Kosovars. I don't know if you know that. The Israelis had it all backwards as well. What do you think? They know everything? They're a puppet of the United States of America. Everybody knows that. They're a puppet state, the way Cuba used to be a puppet of the Soviet Union. I mean, in reality. It's a terrible thing to say, but it's a reality. How long would Israel exist if the United States stopped supporting it? Tell me, who would they turn to, India? I kind of doubt it. Israel is a puppet of the United States of America. That's a reality. It's a good puppet, but it's a puppet. It's a friendly puppet, but it's a puppet. So, you know, you read these things, and it's, it's hard to read these and look at the picture. List of rabbis slaughtered by Croatian Ustashi by name. They had names and their ages. Names and ages. Names and ages. Lost to history. Right. We are talking about the destruction of the Jews 
and of the Serbs and of the Gypsies by your friends uh, in the death camps, the genocide uh, in satellite Croatia, a good friend of the Kosovars. The Ustashi were the exterminators. They were the ones who gladly uh, created SS divisions along with their friends in, in uh, Albania and Kosovo. And this cannot be forgotten. I'm sorry. There is a monster. There is another. A monster is loose. How about another book? Between Serb and Albanian, A History of Kosovo by Miranda Vickers. Another book. Page 92. An estimated 100,000 Serbs died on the grueling trek through Kosovo and Albania. That was in World War I when the Serbs were driven out of Kosovo by the uh, European powers. Exactly what they're trying to do now. Once again, repeating history of World War I and World War II. It could trigger World War III. Once again, the Serb is the fall guy for the corrupt Western dictatorships. Uh, Kosovo, page 332. The Albanians of Kosovo do have a very high birth rate, the highest, in fact, in present-day Europe. While the highest abortion rate is among Serbs, the reason the abortion rate is so high among Serbs is because they were emotionally crippled by Bill Clinton and the NATO gangsters. They destroyed their, their souls. The idea that Albanians breed as part of a political campaign, little lines like this pop out of the book. Or you can read about the Chetniks, or Setnik, if you wish. Uh, who they are and uh, what kind of warriors they were and who they fought and how they so bravely... By the way, the Chetnik fighters in the mountains of Serbia were the only... Um, was the only uh, revolution... Excuse me, let me go back. The Chetnik fighters in World War II in the mountains of Yugoslavia were the only fighters who stopped Hitler's crack SS brigades. The SS tank brigades could not beat the Chetniks in the mountains of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, Yugoslavia. You don't understand any of this. They also, the Serbs, rescued our downed airmen and returned them to the American Air Force. You don't know anything about that. You get that? Here's another little chapter. Historical evidence places the arrival of the Jews in Kosovo in the 15th century. Of course, you don't read anything about what was done to the Jews under the peaceful uh, and peace-loving practitioners of the religion of peace. You know that in the 1930s, when the uh, fascist party Zabor campaigned openly on an anti-Semitic platform, uh, Chief Rabbi Alkaj was ejected from the Senate in 1938, and various legal restrictions on Jews were introduced in 39 and 40. You don't want to see any of this. It's a little uncomfortable for pigeons like Wolf Blitzer, Blitzer to actually spend five seconds reading about the history of the Kosovo he talks so much about. Again, why am I caring about this? I don't know any Serbs. I don't know any uh, Albanians. And I don't know any Kosovars. I've never met any. I mean, I've covered this in 1998 when Clinton was bombing the bejesus out of the Serbian people, killing the children and the women. Uh, bombing old age homes, bombing train lines, bombing p uh, air uh, platforms, breaking down every bridge across the Daniel River. A war crime uh, that General Wesley Clark has still not been tried for. He orchestrated the bombing of every bridge across the Daniel River. He destroyed ancient bridges and modern bridges alike. Wesley Clark should be dragged before the Hague for what he did. So should that hag, that rotten, degenerate, Brisket-eating hag, Madame Albright, one of the most evil witches of the, la of, of the present times who disguises herself as some holier-than-thou uh, diplomat who wants to be uh, a big a bigwig, a big macha in any Clinton campaign. She's floating around in between uh, peddling her skirts uh, for uh, the United Arab Emirates. Now, on one hand, she's a foreign agent, a registered foreign agent like the prostitute she is, and the next day she's appearing on Wolf Blitzer in the green room, pretending to be a, a sage diplomat. And again, the puppets in the media don't say to her, Madam Albright, didn't you oversee the bombing of Serbia? Aren't you ashamed that 2,000 innocent men, women, and children were killed because of what you did? And you see injustice in the world, and you've got to react to it. And I don't care which way the injustice cuts. If there's injustice, there's injustice. And I can't sit here and say I'm happy to see a nation being stolen from another nation or a piece of a nation stolen from a nation and sit here and say it's okay to me. What is the point of being a commentator in the United States of America on a radio show if I don't tell you what I see to be the truth and if I don't give you some of the historical reasons for my emotional outbursts from time to time on the Savage Nation? Yes, there's sometimes a reason to get emotional. Sometimes there's a great reason. Most of you hear the word Ottoman, Ottoman Empire, Ottoman Turkey. You don't know what the word Ottoman means. You think it's a hassock that you put your feet on. Norfolk, Virginia. John, you're on the Savage Nation.
Michael, my head is going to explode over this. And it pains me to say this as an American, but what happened today at our embassy? We deserve that. We deserve that and worse for what we did to those people, and it kills me to say that. Yes, I actually felt the same way. And I, for, for the first time, agree with China and Russia on this. This is an outrage. We are absolute international thieves to sit here and do this to a nation. I thank you for being the only guy talking about this, because you're right. It, it, it can be the source of World War III, and I'm tremendously outraged at what's going on. And like I said, we deserve what we got today. That's it. Thank you very much. Okay. The cleansing and genocide. They killed uh, uh, Jews as well and gypsies. The Skanderberg Division played a role in the Holocaust and the genocide. In fact, the Nuremberg War Crimes Tribunal declared the SS criminal organization that we're talking about, and every individual member of SS was found to be a war criminal guilty of planning and carrying out crimes against humanity. And who are these Kosovars in the 21st War? I would like those of you who are interested in this to do a Google search on the Skanderberg Division of the SS, Hitler's murderers, who conducted... Uh, wholesale campaigns of ethnic cleansing and genocide in Kosovo, killing uh, uh, Serbs in the Kosovo Metohija regions, who they massacred, burnt their homes. The survivors then were brutally driven out and expelled in a policy of Ethwaffen Geberg's division, the Skanderberg, who committed the war crimes and the genocide against the Orthodox Serbian population of Kosovo. Well, look it up if you're interested. Callers, Bill, Los Angeles, welcome. What's on your mind? Michael, I'm so thankful for you uh, bringing out the, this truth about Kosovo. Um, uh, as for as for um, Mike, the um, captive nations represent day, and and the Ottoman Turks took over that section of Europe for the next seven centuries. I, I went and did a lot of homework about this Serbia situation, and I've learned and I've gotten to know a bunch of Serbs in the last 10 years, and I think you and me both see this. I, I, I didn't even know what Kosovo... But you know why the Serbs are being kicked around? They've been... They've I'm sure we'll see him representing Aztica someday um, when they try to create an independent nation here in the American Southwest. Now, mm -hmm. as for Kosovo, in 1389, Michael, I'm sure you remember the Battle of Blackbird Field. The Serbs lost over 50,000 men in 